Hello guys, just let me know. Just let me know if I'm audible and visible. I'm waiting for your reply. Please say hi, hello, something, anything. Let me know if I'm audible and visible. I think I'm audible and visible. So let's start now. Uh, Are you curious about opportunities after GATE? If yes, then please subscribe to our Geek for Geek GATE Computer Science channel. Do you know you can get MTech and PhD admission in IIT even without GATE? Yes, without GATE. IIT Hyderabad and IIT Gandhinagar offers MTech and PhD program without GATE. For complete details, subscribe our Geek for Geek GATE Computer Science channel. Do you know IIT offers Masters in Management that too through gate yes through gate for complete details subscribe to our geek for geeks gate computer science channel do you know you can apply in im through gate yes you can apply in im through gate im offers fpm program where you can apply through gate as well for complete details subscribe to our geek for geeks gate computer science channel do you know only top 1000 or 1500 students get admission in iit or top NIT through GATE exams. What are the opportunities for the rest of your students? To know about those opportunities, please subscribe our Geek for Geeks GATE Computer Science channel. Do you know you can get admission in MS or PhD program in top international university through GATE? Yes, few top international universities offers MS and PhD program through GATE. For complete details about those international universities, please subscribe our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science YouTube channel. Do you know one of the best computer science colleges in India, like Triple IT Hyderabad and Bates Plani, offers MTech without Gate? Yes, they conduct their own exam. For complete details, please subscribe our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science YouTube channel. Are you curious about opportunities after Gate? If yes, then please subscribe to our Geek for Geek Gate Computer Science channel. Do you know you can get MTech and PhD admission in IIT even without Gate? Yes, without Gate. IIT Hyderabad and IIT Gandhinagar offers MTech and PhD program without Gate. For complete details, subscribe our Geek for Geek Gate Computer Science channel. Do you know IIT offers Masters in Management that too through Gate? Yes, through Gate. For complete details. Subscribe to our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science channel. Do you know you can apply in IM through Gate? Yes, you can apply in IM through Gate. IM offers FPM program where you can apply through Gate as well. For complete details, subscribe to our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science channel. Do you know only top thousand or 1500 students get admission in IIT or top NIT through Gate exams? What are the opportunities for the rest of your students? To know about those opportunities, please subscribe our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science channel. Do you know you can get admission in MS or PhD program in top international university through Gate? Yes, few top international universities offers MS and PhD program through Gate. For complete details about those international universities, please subscribe our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science YouTube channel. Do you know one of the best computer science colleges in India, like Triple IT Hyderabad and Bates Plani, offers MTech without Gate? Yes, they conduct their own exam. For complete details, please subscribe our Geek for Geeks Gate Computer Science YouTube channel.
Hello, friends. I hope I am audible and visible. So let me know if you are facing any problem. Please say something, hi, hello, anything. So in this way, I could know that I'm audible and visible to you guys. Okay, so let's start our today's session. And our in this session, I'm going to teach you printer schooler problem and reader writer school. We have already discussed binary semaphore of because semaphore solve the problem of process synchronization, or we can say critical section problem. Apart from that, we have also solved the problem, uh, critical section problem with the help of lock variable, turn variable, uh, text and set instruction, and Peterson solution. We have already studied those topics. Uh, if you are facing any difficulty, that means if you are not aware of these topics, you can watch our previous video, right? So in this video, I will just talk about printer, printer spooler problem, but I will also provide the solution for the reader writer problem. I'm not going to provide the solution for the both because uh, both solutions are dependent on the semaphore. I will solve one and I am expecting you to solve other one. Fine. So let's start. But before going, before starting printer spooler problem and reader writer problem, I will just recall some points of binary semaphore fine but uh, before starting our today's session i am going to give you a good news uh, geek for geeks is providing a coupon uh, of 10 percent discount to all of our youtubers who are watching our videos uh, so for that there is 10 percent discount that means they can apply this code GFGYT 2021 and with that they will get the discount of 20 10 percent on our any paid courses uh, geek for geek provide paid courses for your placement preparation data structures self-paced course c plus plus stl course and many more there are courses for the python and app labs uh, and right now we are going to launch GRE test series as well as we are about to launch our pseudo gate test series so you can apply this code and avail 10 percent discount this coupon is valid throughout the year so uh, whenever you find that this is the correct course for you in that time or in that case you can apply this coupon so let's start now so in previous session i have told you what is semaphore semaphore is a integer variable first of all it is just an integer variable and apart from initialization it can be accessed by two operation wait and signal and it is only with mutual exclusive manner fine and there are in the and in many books on many concepts wait and signal can be replaced by p and v operation or down and up operation fine so what is the binary semaphore earlier i have told you the semaphore semaphore has the problem of continuous waiting or busy waiting problem and semaphore also could not and semaphore was not able to solve critical section problem completely there was some issue but when we apply the binary semaphore binary semaphore definition of the semaphore is a little bit uh, modified and by this busy waiting problem has been solved and instead of busy waiting it uses block and uh, blocked and wake up call in blocked or sleep function with the help of sleep function a process in the waiting state is blocked and placed into a waiting queue associated with a semaphore and once uh, it is restarted that means the critical section is empty in that case the process is wake up and placed inside the ready queue ready queue not the critical section mind it it is uh, the process with the wake up function it goes back to the ready state fine so and apart from that it is a binary semaphore it's very decent or very good solution uh, which is applicable to solve critical section problem or process synchronization problem we have also studied counting semaphore in our previous uh, video but counting semaphore is mainly used for the resource management 
if you initiate the if you initialize the counting semaphore value with one in that case it can also solve the problem of uh, critical section problem so this was the structure of the binary semaphore in normal semaphore semaphore are just integer but in binary semaphore i have told you there is a cube the cube which store the process in the blocked state fine so this queue is associated with semaphore that's why there is a different structure and binary semaphore can have the value only 0 and 1 that's why we are using enum value fine so i hope you understood it if you are facing any difficulty to understand it because i am going very fast we have already studied binary semaphores and counting semaphore in our previous video if you are facing any difficulty please pause this video go back in our playlist and watch our previous videos so this was the code for the binary semaphore it was the weight weight operation or we can say down or p operation fine and it was the signal operation so we can say it is up or v operation we can use these terminology correspondingly so you can see there is the waiting queue so q is so by this we have solved the problem of busy waiting i have already told you that binary semaphore satisfy the uh, conditions to solve critical section problem in our previous videos i am not going to yeah, recall or uh, going uh, so i am not going to teach you everything right now i am just telling you this is the weight down or p operation this is the signal operation in reader writer problem I will directly use the weight term or signal term. We are not going to write the whole code. I am not going to write the whole code. Fine. So you need to understand. In the weight, if S value is 1, then it works like this. That means it will go to the critical section. If S value means semaphore value is not 1, that means the process will go into the blocked state. Fine. So binary semaphore work like this if semaphore value is one suppose s value is one then only process will go in its critical section otherwise it won't fine it will be in blocked state in signal state you can see if the queue is empty then only value will be changed to one means from zero to one a signal value will change from zero to one in semaphore value so if queue is not empty what will it do it will remove or wake up the function or wake up the process waiting in the blocked state uh, or queue and put or place that process into the ready queue fine i hope you understood my point so this is the printer schooler problem so okay i think i am facing a little bit problem so wait a second guys So this is the code for printer and spooler problem. First of all, what is printer and spooler problem? So suppose there is one network. In network, there are so many devices, right? There can be so many devices or so many computers. So in and there might be very less printers. Suppose there is only one printer in this network. So and any computer, any computer can give the print command. Because printer is a costly resource, so every computer cannot be allocated individual printer. And printer is also a slow resource. It is not as fast as the memory or the CPU. It is very slow uh, resource. So for the pen, printer, there is uh, a dictionary called a spooler dictionary or a spooler. Fine. So in the spooler, there is some name. Suppose there is some location 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 say so size is 7 in our case and here a spooler can store the file 
it's going to return the export of the file and here it can save the file suppose there are more than one process want to print something so the it will store the file of suppose process one file is here process one file is stored at first location and process two file is stored at second location fine so first it will print the file one from the process one then it will print the file two fine even though they have given the command near about the same time but process p1 have given the command little bit early that's why p1 file is printed first fine and but p2 is not blocked where p2 is not blocked while p1 is printing instead p2 file is stored in the spooler fine p2 file is stored in a spooler so i hope you understood my point here so let's see how the code work so let me tell you how the code work so code is in our machine level language so i hope you understood it if you don't you can ask the question in comment section fine so okay so there are the two three comments uh, so first one is load ri ri is our register ri is register here m is the spooler m is our spooler and i n is providing the location where the file can be stored fine i n is an index for this spooler and m is representing this spooler i hope you understood that then once it will tell the load ri fine so that means you have to load the value of ri after that store spooler r file name fine that means you are expecting to store the file into the spooler at which location r location after that you can increment the value of the ri register value and then store the value of i n ri into the min means index value you are in, in, you are changing the value of index value fine so let's start with process suppose p not want to uh, is the pen is visible to you Okay, suppose a process P0 want to access its critical section. So what will it do? It will first P0. There, let me give the name of to the instruction I1, I2, I3, and I4. Fine. Suppose process P0 want to load the file into the spooler or give the command for the printing. So first it will increment first it will execute the I1 instruction. That means value of the i n will be load to the r i fine value of the index value uh, of the spooler will be loaded to the r i initially i n is zero so let me write here i n equal to zero fine r i is empty right now so what will happen after zero instruction r i value will be zero that means we store the spooler r r i it is r i not r the file name will be stored at the spooler r fine so here file one will be stored so let me write p not file so it is p not file is stored at the zeroth location after that it is incrementing the value of ri so ri will be one now ri will be one and it will store the ri value into the index value of min uh, i am i have written the m but you can directly write in as well because in is the real variable here so i n value is incremented to 1 so it seems it is working fine but it won't how so right now all the instruction were executed sequentially and only by the one process what will happen when there are more than one process when there are two or three process what will happen so let's see suppose there are two process p1 and p2 fine and both of them want to provide the print command of both of them want to execute the print command and to execute the print command there are four instructions to be 
executed. Suppose P1 get the CPU first and P1 start executing. Fine. So what will happen? The value of RI. RI means R1 in my case because it is P1. So I1 will be executed. So value of R1 will be uh, 1. And for after that, it will store the file name into the spooler R1, spooler index value. So well, here P1 of file will be written at first location. Suppose after I2 instruction, after I2 instruction, it is printed. After I2 instruction, P1 is printed. So what will happen? P2 get the CPU and P2 will execute its instruction I1. And in P2, what will be the value of R1? R1, you can see R1 value is 1 right now. Fine. Because value of IN is 1. IN is not changed. You can see value of IN is 1. So for P2, R1 value is again 1. Fine. So once it will execute the I2 value or when it will execute the I2 instruction, for R2, it will also store its file on spooler first location. So that means it will be overwritten by file P2. So P2 file will be overwritten here. P2 file will be written here. So P1, we lost the P1 file. And after that, after I2, there might be chance that a P2 will execute I3. That means R1 will be changed to 2 now. So R1 is a local variable first of all. Fine. But uh, IN is a global variable. IN is uh, accessed by every process. So R1 is changed to 2. You can see R1 equal to 2 now for here. And after that, it will implement the store MI IN. So IN value will be changed to 2. Fine. So RP2 has completed its task. That means P1 will get back the CPU. And now it will increment, now it will execute the instruction I3. In I3, what it is doing, it is changing the value of Ri. So R1 value, sorry, it is R2 in the case of P2. So in case of R1 P1 process, R2 value will be 2 now. And when it will execute the instruction I4, the I, IN value will change to again 2 only, from 2 to 2. So process doesn't know that they the process P1 doesn't know that its file is overwritten by pro, uh, process P2. So that is the problem because that is the critical section problem. You can say this is the classical example of the critical section problem or we can say process synchronization problem because in here you have seen that it is the problem of race condition. We are facing the race condition here because Output is dependent on the execution of the instruction, the order of execution of instruction. So that is the printer spooler problem, and it can be solved by any any critical section problem solution. We have discussed many, but most of the time, SEMA four are used. Most of the time, SEMA four are utilized. So it can be solved by the SEMA four. You can see SEMA fours can be utilized to solve these kind of problem. I am not going to solve this for you. I am expecting you to solve it. Fine. If you if you still face the problem to solve the printer spooler problem, you can pro, uh, leave your comment in the comment section, and we will pro, uh, provide you the solution of the printer spooler problem. Right now, you might be thinking how to solve the printer spooler problem with SEMA4. I am going to solve reader writer problem with the help of SEMA4, and by that. Solution you can understand how to solve a printer spooler problem with the SEMA 4. So, I am going to start reader and writer problem just after a one minute break. So, guys, uh, please think about the solution of the printer spooler problem till then. Till then. Are you curious about opportunities after GATE? If yes, then please subscribe to our Geek for Geek Great Computer Science channel. Do you know you can get MTech and PhD admission in IIT even without GATE? Yes, without GATE. IIT Hyderabad and IIT Gandhinagar offers MTech and PhD program without GATE. For complete details, subscribe our Geek for Geek Great Computer Science channel. Do you know 
आई आई टी ऑफर्स मास्टर्स इन मैनेजमेंट दैट टू थ्रू गेट येस थ्रू गेट फॉर कंप्लीट डिटेल्स सब्सक्राइब टू अवर गीक फॉर गीक गेट कंप्यूटर साइंस चैनल डू यू नो यू कैन अप्लाई इन आई एम थ्रू गेट येस यू कैन अप्लाई इन आई एम थ्रू गेट आई एम ऑफर्स एफ पी एम प्रोग्राम वेयर यू कैन अप्लाई थ्रू गेट एज वेल फॉर कंप्लीट डिटेल्स सब्सक्राइब टू अवर गीक फॉर गीक गेट कंप्यूटर साइंस चैनल Do you know only top thousand or fifteen hundred students get admission in IIT or top NIT through GATE exams? What are the opportunities for the rest of our students to know about those opportunities? Please subscribe our Geek for Geeks GATE Computer Science channel. Do you know you can get admission in MS or PhD program in top international university through GATE? Yes, few top international universities. offers ms and phd program through gate for complete details about those international university please subscribe our geek for geek gate computer science youtube channel do you know one of the best computer science colleges in india like triple it hyderabad and bits plani offers mtech without gate yes they conduct their own exam for complete details please subscribe our geek for geek gate computer science youtube channel Okay, guys. Let's start reader writer problem, or we can say readers writers problem. Because why readers and writers why it is problem? Because many people can read at the same time as well as many process might want to write at the same time. So let's see the code first and why it is important. So I think you, if many of you have already studied the <coughs> database. in database there is conflict pair there is conflict pair fine conflict pair and what is conflict pair conflict pair is read write write read sorry write read read write Write read operation or write write operation on same data same database. Then it is called the conflict pair. This we have studied in the database system. I hope you have already known that. If you don't know that, then also it's fine. It does not require the database knowledge right now. Why? Because let me tell you why. Because suppose there are two Process. There are two process which want to study the same data, which want to read the same data, read and read. So there is no problem. So there is no problem in read and read because both are just reading. It is the same way that you are reading the same thing from same file. Fine. So you uh, take the example of the status of your flight. Fine. In that case, two process are or we can say many passenger are checking the condition at the same time if you are going to book a flight fine you just log in on some website uh, expedia go ibgo indigo air india and you can check the rate and most of the process can work at the same time because everyone is just reading so if the there are 50 seats are uh, available right now for any flight suppose there is a flight at 4 pm so 50 seats are available and many passengers are trying to read that how many seats are available then it's fine there is no problem but if any process or any person want to book a flight if any person want to book a flight in that case here book operation is a write operation then there might be a problem because at the same time one person is reading it, there is a 50 seats available but at the same time someone is writing the, or booking the flight that means flight uh, seats will be decreased fine and suppose they are uh, in the same case read write or write read and what will happen in the write write operation suppose there is only one seat available and two passenger are trying to book at the same time so seat could be given only to the one so that is another problem so these three are the problem here 
what are the problem read write write read and write write so these are the problem these are not read read problem read read is not our problem but read write write w or write read or write write is problem for critical section fine so let me write it somewhere in the corner so what is the problem we are facing right now it is reader writer problem so reader writer writer reader or writer writer so this is the conflict pair and this is our problem how let me tell you how the code is working first of all this is the structure of write and this is the structure of read code fine code is more or less like the uh, galvin book galvin is the gita or granth of the operating system so i already suggested you whenever you face any problem you should refer galvin it is a red color book and it is known as the gita of operating system as a core manager gita for uh, algorithm same way galvin is a gita for operating system fine so let's see there is a write operation whenever a process want to write so there are let me tell you there are schema fours and these are the global variable which are accessed by the write as well as the read and in the write you can see there are the two schema four mutex and write wrt and there is a integer variable which which is read count read count is a integer variable and schema fours are mutex and wrt initially mutex is 1 wrt is 0 so wrt is also 1 so initially mutex is 1 because it is binary schema four so we initialize it by 1 1 and rc is 0 initially it is 0 suppose a process want to write on a file on a database so first it will what will it do it will implement line 1 so let me write i1 then i2 fine so this is the critical section this is our critical section where writing is performed so wait wrt it will complete it it is the complete function we have already studied the complete function here this was the wait and signal in binary schema board i am not going to recall that or whole definition i am just telling you these functions are called called here so wrt is the schema for in that case that means wrt value will be changed to 0 and process suppose process p not is performing i1 instruction after that it will access its critical section and suppose at the same time process p1 want to write even also want to write when it is trying to execute the i1 what will happen it will be in waiting state and waiting state is simple waiting state because p1 will be kept into the blocked state associated queue with the wrt fine it won't be a busy waiting so p1 is waiting or in blocked state and after one p1 is also printed p0 will get the cpu again and p0 will signal it with the i2 instruction so i2 instruction will be implemented and after that p1 can check mutex value mutex value change mutex oh sorry i1 uh, wrt value and wrt will be changed by 1 1 because of implemented implementation of i2 instruction fine after that after that p1 will go inside its critical section and it can perform the i2 that means write write operation are mutually exclusive write write operation are mutually exclusive so this code is working fine so let's see how read operation is working how the code of the read is working so let's see in the read operation first it will wait the mutex it will wait the mutex so suppose there is one process p not again i am taking p not it want to execute the critical section or it want to read some document which is shared so first it will decrement the value of mutex write structure or write the code of the write doesn't 
change the value of the mutex. Mutex value is only changed by the leader. Fine. Uh, the mutex value as well as the RC value, lead count. Both are accessed only by the read operation. But, but read also access the WRT semaphore. Read also access the WRT semaphore. So WRT semaphore is accessed by write and read, but mutex and RC are manipulated only by the read operation. Right? So let's start. P not want to read some shared data, so it will execute the weight mutex. So mutex value is changed to zero. After that, it will increment the RC plus plus. So RC plus plus is one. RC, what is RC? RC is the read count. After now it will check if RC double equal to one. That means this is the first reader. This is the first reader. Fine. If a process is the first reader, that means after the one reader is there who is trying to read, in that case, there should be no write operation. So it will decrement the value of WRT semaphore. So WRT semaphore will be decreased to zero. And after that, it will increment the mutex again or it will change the mutex value again. Now, suppose P0 is in a critical section or we can say read critical section. Fine, because P0 is reading. At that time, P1 again, P1 want to access or reading the data. So what will it do? It will weight the mutex of so mutex value change to zero. RC plus per read count is changed to two. And it will check if RC double equal to one. No, RC is not double equal to one. So first of all, it is in the code a little bit, you no. Know, and uh, as in if instruction, there is only one line. So RC not one. So it will not wait the WRT because there is only a reader. There is on uh, there is already one reader, and which already changed or which already announced that no writer can write right now that's why p1 do not need to announce that again so p1 will not perform the weight wrt operation it will directly starts its critical section and it will signal the mutex it will signal the mutex that means mutex value is one now you can see two processes are reading at the same time two processes are reading at the same time so Reading, reading is not the problem. I have told you, RR is not the problem. RR, RR is not a critical section problem. So, in a state of two, there can be 100, 200, even 1000 million of the process which can read simultaneously. So, that is not the problem. So, you can see that is achieved by this line of code. Till that, it is achieved. After that, once a process complete its reading part once a process completes its reading part what will happen suppose p not completed its reading part it will decrement the mutex value to zero so mutex value is zero now after that it will decrement the rc count read count so read count is one that means how many process are reading the file right now because a p not has completed so remaining process in the read count is only one because only p1 is reading fine and if RC double equal to zero, no, RC is not double equal to zero, RC is one, so condition fail. And after that, there is again some issue in my port. And after that, if this line won't be executed, it will increment the mutex value. So mutex value is one again. Fine. At that same time, suppose write want to access, it can't access because WRT is zero. Because WRT is zero. Fine. So let's see. After that, P1 also completed its critical section. So what will happen? P1 will also execute weight mutex. So value of the mutex is changed to zero. After that, it will decrement the RC minus minus. So RC value is zero. Now RC value is zero. Then it will change the WRT. It will increment the WRT. Why? Because now there is no process in the reading state. That means if someone want to write in shared variable, it can write fine. So that's why last process in the ready state will announce after completion of its task, it will announce that you can write now. It will allow other process to write in that same data. Fine. So 
that's how p1 has completed a star p1 will again change the value of the mutex one fine and this will happen so you have seen more than one process can read at the same time and how they are changing the value of the mutex wrt and read count so i hope it is clear to you and we are taking the solution right now we have already told you that what is the problem so let's see how right right uh, how read write right read and write write problem will be solved by this code so again i am taking the value you can see mutex is one initially wrt is also one and read count rc equal to zero fine now suppose there are the process write process pw so p not so, so first of all i am going to solve a read write problem so let me solve read write problem so suppose there is one process p not p write and p read fine so suppose p read and p write don't uh, both want to access the data simultaneously so first it is read write problem so i am giving the cpu to read of a read process first so what will it do it will change the mutex value to zero so mutex value is zero now you can see mutex value is zero and after that it will increment the rc plus plus so rc value is one uh, rc value is one so condition is true so what will it do it will decrement the weight so it will change the right sigma 4 value so right sigma 4 is zero and after that it will signal the mutex so mutex is one now and reading is performed so reading is performed so let me write the instruction number here uh, uh, what should i write r1 r2 okay r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 then critical section then r6 r7 r8 r9 r10 and r11 so after r5 so it has executed r1 to r5 and after that it is in its critical section so right now one process in its critical section pr is reading the file and we have seen read read problem that means other process can come and read because mutex value is one fine but what will happen if a process comes and want to write so what it will do it will implement the i1 p w process want to write so it will implement weight wrt but write it already zero write mutex is already zero write sigma for it already zero so it will be in blocked state or waiting state so you have seen reader writer problem has been solved because one process is reading another process cannot go inside the critical section so reader writer problem is solved by the sigma 4 now we will see writer and reader problem so we will see writer and reader problem so let me erase everything So we are going to start well writing first. So P2, P W and P R2 process, P W get the CPU and it incremented and it implemented instruction I1. So value of mutex weight WRT. It is implementing I by I1 weight WRT. So value of WRT is zero. And after that, in its critical section. So P now have P W in its critical section suppose it is printed here suppose pw is printed and pr get the cpu so what will it do it will implement the value of it will implement first instruction r1 so r1 is implemented 1 to 0 no issue there then rc plus plus value is incremented that's also fine so rc is 1 now if rc double equal to one yes rc double equal to one it will implement weight wrt fine so r3 is executed now it try to execute r4 weight wrt cannot be implemented because wrt sigma 4 is already zero w 
RT semaphore is already zero, so it is in blocked state. So it is in blocked state. So process PR will go inside the blocked state. That means read, write and read problem is also solved. Write and read problem is also solved because only one process is accessing its critical section when any of process want to write. So we have seen read write and write read problem. Now we will see write write problem. Will it able to solve the write write problem? So let me show you. Write write problem is quite simple. So suppose a process P1 and P2, there are two process P1 and P2, both want to write. P1 implemented the instruction I1, that means WRT value is zero. And after that, in its critical section, P1 in its critical section, and it is preempted. And P2 want to ex execute its critical section, so it will try to execute I1. But what I1 is doing, I1 is accessing the SEMA for WRT and it want to decrement the value it will perform the weight operation but weight operation cannot be implemented successfully because wrt value is already zero so p2 will go into the block state or waiting state fine so that's why it is implemented successfully that's why ww or right right problem is also solved by this solution of sema4 so guys Writer reader or reader writers problem has been solved by the semaphore. I have shown you there all those possible examples. Reader reader is working fine because there can be more than one reader. Fine value of the mutex can be zero and one in between. And read write problem is solved. Write read problem is solved. Write write problem is solved by the semaphore. But we are utilizing two semaphores. WRT access by write and read both code but mutex and rc mutex semaphore and integer read count is only accessed through read operation not by the write operation so keep the point in the in your mind and you will able to solve the problem so guys this is all for today's lecture let me tell you again geek for geeks is providing 10 percent discount for all their youtube viewers or all the audience of the youtube and they can claim 10 percent discount by the coupon code gfgyt 2021 so thank you guys thank you very much and thank you guys